Last week, the U.S. stock market was rich in events. In the first half of the week, all the major stock indices lost momentum. Yet today, they have managed to fully recoup their losses. Why did it happen? Well, first thing first, the equity market rallied amid the fall in the cryptocurrency market. Investors once again got disillusioned with riskier assets and focused on more predictable stocks of tech, trade and manufacturing sectors. What will happen next? Let's discuss that. The Dow is showing solid growth for the fourth consecutive trading session, although last week it sank following the downward trend of the entire stock market. Now it is already trading at the level of 34,500, which is close to the historical high. Why is this happening? The fact is that inflation fears in the US have abated. More and more traders agree that the acceleration in inflation will be temporary. According to the short-term forecast, the Dow may slightly correct downwards, but in the mid-term it may grow from 34,500 to 34,800, trading in this range. The S&P 500 index is showing a similar dynamic. It is now trading above 4,220 points. Last week it fell below 4,080 amid increased risks of a significant rise in inflation. The index is likely to be trading in the range of 4,150-4,250 during this week. In the mid-term, the quote may jump as well. Its rally will depend on the results of important macroeconomic data, which is due this week. Shares of tech companies also soared. The Nasdaq Composite Index is currently trading at 13,650. However, on the chart we can see that a minor correction will soon occur, as some stocks are overbought. Until next week, the index may approach 13,900 with moderate volatility. The capitalization of NVIDIA surged by 4.1%. Last Friday, the U.S. manufacturer of graphic processors announced its intention to conduct a 4-1 stock split, the largest in its history and the first since 2007. So market participants are sure to take notice of this event. Meanwhile, the market cap of AMC Entertainment Holdings rose by 13.3%. China's Delhi and Wanda Group has reduced its stake in movie theater chain business, as the pandemic undermines much of the exhibitor business worldwide through closures. Previously, it was the largest shareholder in this company. It may also affect the value of the shares in the near future. It is also recommended to pay attention to the shares of companies in the tourism sector, which are gradually recovering losses after the coronavirus crisis. Shares of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings advanced by 4.7%. The U.S. cruise operator said on Monday it would resume cruises from Seattle to Alaska from August 7. Many other major cruise operators also made similar statements. As we can see, the leaders of the current cycle of economic and stock market growth are tech companies. They manage to multiply their revenue the most, while many other sectors lagged behind. This indicates the likelihood of new highs in the stock market in the coming weeks. Currently, investors are awaiting reports on employment and durable goods orders, which are on tap on Thursday. Besides, the stock market is likely to conquer new highs of the year. You forged weekly financial review on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Stay tuned.